Hello everybody, today I will guide you to know our PVA Creator program and the procedure to run it. It was developed by White Hat Box, a very powerful and flexible software to auto-create many accounts. It can automatically create accounts on many websites where they need you to enter the CAPTCHA to email verification or phone number verification. All this verification process could be done automatically by PVA Creator and create mouse accounts once you set up tasks. Well, now let's go to learn the settings and the detailed operations. You can see all the websites available in the list here on the left. You can create a task by just clicking the website you want and then mark a plus. We will learn to create a campaign later after finish other setting requirements first. But what if you can't find the website you need among those? Click, click Add other new site here. You will see a page which needs your email, site's name and requirement and hit send button at last. You will get your information sent to the official site and will also get a reply from them. You will be informed of how much you need to pay and how long they need for dealing with your requirements if you want to add a site on PVA Creator. Very soon, you can get a reply from them, generally within 24 hours. At last, you decide if you need them to provide a site for you. Now we start with the basic settings. First, we we'll find proxy here, which means you need to add your own proxy when you are creating mass account. Format consists of your IP, port, username, and password. So here, you can type in your proxy. If your proxy doesn't have a username, just hit add button like this. If your proxy does have, then you add the username and password and hit add button. You can add them one by one. You can also click import like this and add them at the same time by choosing a whole file with proxies. Format is also the same in this case, a text with a proxy each line. Keep the format of proxies each line the same as this one. If you finish all the proxies, click save. This is a global proxy, you can use it when creating your task, both for random use and sequential use. For user agent, you can manually input the user agent and click add. You can edit the information if you double click on it. You can also import user agent from the file txt or csv file. Now I'm going to import from the CSV file that the system already had, with one user agent each line. We can have a look at those user agents. Click Save. View them here again. Here are two ways for verification. One is Death by Capture, which verifies automatically. The other is Manual Capture, which verifies by manually entering the capture. If you choose the first one, you are going to input your username, password, and language. But before that, you'll need to register an account on the official site by clicking Visit Now, finish the blanks, and click Save. Here we can see this if you use Death by Capture. Some settings to show debug or not, disable image or not campaign and thread account. Save. We can still view the setting here. Now we try to create several accounts. We start to run a task next. One task has only one thread. Two tasks have two threads at the same time. Three have three. Then we create a Gmail task with several accounts. Only one campaign is running because only one campaign count was set before. Start to run Gmail. Now we need to set it to two campaigns if we want to run two tasks at the same time. If we click pause, the task will start from where it pauses. Now we can start the task again and see if it's really going to start where it pauses. Stop the task. 
refresh the page, we can clearly see how many accounts were created successfully and how many not. If we open the account file, we can see those successful accounts kept in it. You can modify those information if you want and click to save. Refresh the page and you can see the modified data. We can also delete accounts we don't need by hitting delete accounts. For delete field accounts, I'm going to make some field accounts. So I can delete them like this. We can also export accounts information for types. Here I export not registered accounts as they are the only left here. You can also change the order you prefer and save them to a folder you want. There are three running modes to run by times by dates and any time that you can choose. The third one is loop run till all the accounts are created successfully. I am going to take one account as an example. Start the task. I set it to run twice, so it will stop after running twice. Anyway, task will stop till all the accounts are created successfully. That's all the shared. Thank you.